Um, and there is one person in particular here who just couldn't be more excited. You can see it right on her face. I'm talking about the chief curator here at the museum, Kathleen Chafee. I talked about her. I talked to her about having so much art here that she wasn't able to display that now she'll be able to share for all to see. As the, the chief curator, the question you're going to get from people is, when I come to the museum, what am I going to see? You're going to see... But in some ways, it depends on what you're looking for. So before we closed for construction and before this expansion, we had the ability to do one or one of two things weirdly well. We could do really great cutting edge exhibitions, or we could show our fantastic permanent collection to the extent that it deserved to be shown. And we tried to do both. And we did a, our very best job for many, many years. But what people are going to see now, we've doubled our gallery spaces. And we haven't really added a lot of space for special exhibitions. What we did is double our space for the permanent collection. So coming forward, we might have as many as eight to 12 special exhibitions a year, kind of constantly changing of various sizes. But the permanent collection has been beautifully reinstalled, telling a chronological story. So beginning in kind of the late 1700s and taking you straight through to an entire floor of the new building that's dedicated just to works we've acquired in the last couple of years. So things that have maybe never been seen outside the artist studios. Yeah, so much of the permanent collection was in the basement for so long because space it takes space. Yes, and as modernism goes on, and anyone who's ever seen our Jackson Pollock painting Convergence knows, you hit the mid-century, 20th century, works just starts getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. So yes, I, we've doubled the number of works that we can exhibit, along with doubling the space. There'll be about 400 of the best-known works from our collection, as well as some surprises, recent acquisitions even from the 1920s that people haven't seen before. What should we know about where the different gallery spaces are going to be? Because this is now such a massive campus, and there are places for programs, yeah. there are places for the artwork, um, where should we be looking? So the, the most familiar people, the most familiar building for people is the Wilmers building, our great Beaux-Arts 1905 building. That's the building that's housing the majority of the permanent collection. And it's that it's the, it's the building that has that kind of chronological arc in it. But as you continue across the scenic bridge into the Gunlock building when all the work there is done, that's where the, the story continues. So it'll pick up maybe in the 1970s and continue straight through to today. Hmm. And then in the Gunlock building, we have two floors of rotating special exhibitions going forward. When we open, one of those floors is going to be dedicated dedicated to those recent acquisitions. And then one of those is dedicated to a really special installation of all 33 works in our collection by the great abstract expressionist painter Clifford Still. And those haven't been shown all together in more than a decade. I'll just end by asking you how excited you are to be able to share so much more of this art with Western New Yorkers. I am absolutely thrilled. Our collection is one of the best kept secrets in the art world. People who really know art know that you have to come to Buffalo to see this work. But now I think everyone, even not the experts, are going to know about this museum and know about the riches in Buffalo. It really makes it even more of a destination Absolutely. than it was before. Absolutely, without a question. There are going to be people who come just to see the architecture, but we're going to get them in with the art when they get here. That's awesome. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Thanks. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, you can, again, see the excitement on her face. More than 400 pieces uh, that will now be displayed. There will still be more than they would like, I'm sure, in the basement in storage. But being able to double the number of pieces from the permanent collection uh, is such a dramatic change. For some perspective, to create all of this additional space and to do all this work, it took 42 months of construction all leading up to where we are today.